Hi, this is Thunder E from borderwork.com and today we're doing an uh, overview and look at iOS 7 Beta 3. Um, if you're a developer, uh, you probably are using iOS 7 right now. If you're not, you're getting a glimpse of iOS 7, all the features. So we're going to go over all, as much as we can in this video about what's new, the flat design, the new changes Apple has done to iOS 7 and what you see once it's officially released later on this year. So from your lock screen, you have two um, uh, bars you can actually slide from the top of the bottom for your notifications. The top, of course, is what you have standard right now in iOS 6. Uh, it's updated. You do have options looking at what uh, notifications you have from your apps today as well as what you've missed and all and split in those three categories. Of course, you also can have weather and other things up here. Below, you can slide it into or show the camera, which we'll show you later, and you can slide the main notification bar, which uh, houses a lot of the new features here. So you see we have, if I zoom in there a little bit closer, you have airport, um, sorry, airport mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb and lock. You do have a brightness setting here for your display, but there is no auto functionality. Below that, you do have your music uh, playback controls, as well as your volume and the option to go into uh, AirDrop for um, for you to use our AirPlay. And then under that, you have your flashlight, which you can easily turn on and off, as you can see there. Uh, you have, of course, your calendar, calculator, and, a f and then you also have your camera. So those are the things you can actually hop into. Now, going to our into iOS 7 here, you can see the flat design in the way the, app, the apps are represented on screen. Very flat, they're not shiny, they don't have the curvatures, none of those. I mean, it's still the rounded edges as Apple loves to claim, but um, it's very flat, very flat panel to what you have on screen. So a couple of things to take a look at. So if you go into the settings, you notice that the settings has changed. Again, it's very flat very plain uh, look, it's separated. You have your notification center, notification controls. You can access, set them to access and lock screen or not. Um, you also have uh, um, wallpapers. You actually have like live wallpapers, if you will. Um, they're not that great. They're called dynamic wallpapers. They are quite crappy at this point, just to show you an example of what it is. But I'm sure there'll be better ones, you know, as uh, iOS 7 moves along. You can see, it, it's still buggy, so it does applications will close quickly on you, things like that. A number of other changes they've done to a few other applications you can see in your photos. If we go in there, also um, we can jump into a photo. You can see the options are also changed here. You can pull out the option again; it's closed on me. So you expect this with a beta version, but jump into camera, go into photo. And then you have, of course, uh, options to share through social media, text message, or Flickr. You can copy, slide share, do AirPlay with a photo, assign a contact, use as wallpaper or print. So they're giving you more options to access a lot of things that you're doing um, with your different applications. You find this with many applications there. Little changes like this to give uh, users a very friendly um, approach to iOS 7 here. The other new feature, of course, is your multitask, which has uh, a more card-based system, what you find in uh, Windows Windows Phone or even uh, back with the Palm Pre. So you, you double tap and you can see the card-based system here and you can easily scroll through here and you can close an application by sliding up. Same thing you have in Android. So you can actually go through and you can close this application here by just sliding up. And it opens a number of applications. I believe it's about 16 or so in total you can have as applications open. And um, let's take a look at the camera. So the camera app has a few changes here. Uh, one of the cool things that they've done is made uh, the camera options easier. It's, it's, it's more of a slider now, so you can slide through from square to photo, HDR to video, uh, makes it very easy. Also, Apple has included filters. So you have live filters that actually show you what uh, kind of filters, uh, what the filters look like. So you can easily pick the filter to match uh, whatever you're trying to do in there. We go back to the camera. You can switch that over from front to back. We have the auto feature here 
turn that off. So the camera, still basic, um, not that much in changes, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get what you see in other devices, say like the 1020 or even Samsung smartphones, still very basic, uh, but it's improved in the sense that they've given the, made, made the options easier to access uh, for you. Next, of course, we check out iTunes. You can see your library, uh, uh, and iTunes and iTunes radio is also included here. So you can add stations. You can actually uh, get that um, online uh, radio service. And it's quite easy. You can go into add stations and once that populates here, it gives you a list of uh, different music genres to pick from. Uh, you can also type and search for an artist if this will actually work for me this time yes it does so you can search for an artist in there and that will search for an artist for you so let's see let's pick an artist here so we said Michael Jackson radio we picked it it adds the radio station for us and starts playing and gives us a cover so we can actually um, get more information on the station, use from artists, share the station, um, all that fun stuff. So it's, it's, it's nice. Um, it's not, it doesn't look as in depth as what you find with other services, but again, this is not the final build. So we should see more from that, uh, from, from Apple, but it's pretty cool. You can also go into your playlist, what you have on this phone in terms of music. Uh, you can search for artists and then songs, of course, what you have there and then more, which you're going to composers, compilations, and things like that. So uh, nice improvements they've done with, uh, with iOS 7, in introducing um, iRadio there, iTunes Radio, sorry, I said iRadio, uh, giving it a more uh, fleshed out look and uh, general approach. A couple other changes you'll find also, you find uh, that the, uh, the new stand has a few changes there. It's nothing basic, I mean, it's so nothing major, but still gives it a different, different look overall. Um, you also will find uh, that the game centers also got some changes to it. You can see it shows you off the bat how many games you have, friends, requests, challenges. Uh, the animations are much more flashier. You can see all the games you're playing. And again, it's a very flat look to everything you find on iOS 7 here. Um, see what else do we have here. Uh, FaceTime doesn't look to have changed that much. Um, well, you know, that's pretty much it, uh, I would say, with iOS 7. Uh, oh, one more thing, I did forget to show you guys Safari. Safari has also had a, a nice makeover altogether. So you can see with Safari, um, we have all the options at the bottom there. It's very flat, um, but also kind of gives you a very similar look to what Chrome is to a certain degree, uh, even though I'm on Google, so that uh, might throw you off. but. You have options at the bottom for airdrop. You can also, um, ha you have social media tines at the bo bottom for messages, mail, Facebook, Twitter. You also have your bookmarks, uh, add to reading list, add home screen copy, uh, and, and print options right below uh, on, on the screen. You also have uh, more options with your bookmarks. Everything is well laid out and uh, actually very well represented with uh, iOS 7 here and does a very good job at giving you that uh, overall feel. Now, if you wanted to add more, more tabs, you can just, of course, click the tab page, do Yahoo here, and then that shows you how many tabs you have. It's nice, it's a nice look. Don't allow. Let's add another tab here again. Do Apple this time. And you can see it's quite easy to go, of course, close out tabs with this. So uh, Safari is, is improved, looks better, handles better. But again, I can't give you a final um, idea of how well it handles because this is a beta version. So things are iffy, applications do close out um, all the time. So that's something to take note. But 
um, in general, iOS 7 flat design uh, is something that you either would hate or like. It's something that you might decide that it's pretty cool. The additions there are, are welcome and the changes are welcome, especially for iOS users because uh, there are a lot of things that, that you find on Android uh, users have been using for a while. So it's good to see that Apple's pushing that. Hopefully we'll see more as uh, this rolls on. Uh, but till then, if you guys have any questions or any comments, uh, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. So Porto Work with Two O's. Uh, this is Thundee saying thank you and uh, always enjoy your entertainment.